What's up, everybody? I hope you had a great week. I hope your week was successful and injury-free, and you are enjoying your weekend and time with your family and friends, or even just by yourself, whatever it may be. Um, let's go ahead and get started with today's video. Um, I want to start off by saying thank you very much. If you look up in the corner here, I finally broke 1,000, or excuse me, 4,000 subscribers. Um, never thought I'd get there, just because when I started this, I really didn't have any idea that people were actually going to watch my content. So, to all of you who have subscribed, who have viewed, who have shared and commented and whatever it is you've done thank you very much from the bottom of my heart I greatly appreciate it um, and I just I, I'm blown away so that being said mushy stuff out of the way let's go ahead and get started with today's video um, if we jump to my second workspace here you can see I have an XFCE edition of void Linux installed and we're gonna go through installing the void source packages and I getting them set up so first thing we're gonna do is we are going to uh, make this full screen so let's go ahead and do that and then we are going to go ahead and um, we are going to launch a web browser and we are going to go to void-src and hit enter and that's going to bring us up here and if we go to void-linux under or excuse me hash god I can't talk today void linux slash void packages on github that's going to take us to the void source package repository and if we go to this repository this will give us everything we need to know to install the void source packages on our system and get them set up and be able to use them so let's just go ahead and go through this shall we so first thing we need to do is we need to make sure we have all the requirements so what we're going to do is press Control alt t yep okay good <laughs> it's been a while since i've used an actual desktop environment so i want to make sure i can still remember how to do that um, and we're going to zoom in and I was trying to zoom in on this before and the control plus does not work um, I don't know why I don't know if it's just something that I'm doing wrong, but it just doesn't work So let's just go ahead and use the function in the bar there and let's go ahead and shrink that down a little bit So we can see what's going on and um, we are also going to um, Let's see. How do we? Uh, how do we make this? on top um, let's see preferences um, general um, I don't know I'm not gonna mess with that though um, that's just a little annoying so what we're gonna do is we're just gonna scroll this down to the bottom and I'm just gonna have to keep launching this back out because I'm not gonna mess with that right now so first thing we want to do is we want to make sure we have all of our dependencies installed on our system so this is a fresh install of void XFCE so I'm not quite sure what all is on it so let's just go ahead and do a sudo xbps dash install and we're gonna do dash s and I know we have bash and I know we have xbps I don't know if we have git so let's go ahead and install that um, I pretty sure we probably do but let's do core utils as well um, and we're gonna do curl and then we're gonna do flock we're gonna do tar and we're gonna do install oh that's in the core utils can do core utils um, and then we're going to do uh, obj copy obj dump strip uh, bind utils so let's do bin utils um, so that should be it and let's go ahead and hit enter and we're going to enter our super secret password and let's go ahead and oh flock not found in the repository to, oh util dash linus oh, okay Ooh, boy so let's go ahead and it's been a while since i installed this i couldn't remember if uh um util dash linux hit enter there we go now we're going to go ahead and install all this. This should just take a few seconds here, so hopefully uh, we don't uh, spend a whole bunch of time waiting to watch things download. Now there will be a couple times in this that I'm going to have to pause the video because there are some steps that take a bit of time to do, um, but hopefully this isn't one of them. So we're going to try and limit those. Not that it matters to you, but it does matter to me because I'm the one shooting the video. You're not going to be affected by it because, hey, editing, right? <laughs> so um, let's just go ahead and get going. So let's clear that. And so we have all the requirements installed. And if we scroll down here, you can see what we do is we have to clone into the void packages.git. We're going to cd into that, and then we're going to do run a command called xpps source and then binary slash bootstrap. But first things first, let's go ahead and bring that terminal back up. And what we're going to do is you can put these wherever you would like. I tend to keep them in a certain place. So we're going to cd into dot local. We're going to cd into share, and we're going to do an ls. And you can see we've got nothing in there. So we are going to make dir pkgs. And now if I do an ls, we have a pkgs. So now we're going to cd into pkgs and hit ls, and there's nothing there, right? So let's clear that screen again, and we are going to copy this git clone. So we are going to clone into the git, the void Linux void packages git repository. 
and we are going to hit enter and this might take a couple seconds hopefully it doesn't take too long um, but uh, this isn't one of the longer steps so I think we should be all right um, now if you've done this before uh, you'll know that this is a pretty simple task um, it might seem a little daunting if you're a new user um, but it is one of the things on void that is is pretty cool um, I compare it to the AUR and most people compare it to the AUR as well um, it's just a, an extra repository an extra place to get packages that aren't in the main repository um, which you know void is kind of stingy about what they do allow in their repository which is good and bad um, well I shouldn't say good and bad which is um, uh, preferred and not preferred, I guess. Uh, some people uh, don't like the fact that Void doesn't package some of the stuff that other main uh, distros do. Um, some people don't like the fact that um, you can't find stuff like Brave Browser in the in the Void uh, main repository because uh, the Void devs figure, why do we need two Chromium-based browsers? Um, we already have Chromium in there, so why do we need Brave as well? Um, but you know, it is it's just it is what it is. Um, and the void source packages really does a good job of helping out on a lot not all but a lot of them and then also there comes to the fact that you can build your own templates for the void source packages if there is a program out there that you want that isn't available yet um, so it does look like this is going to take a little bit so I'm going to go ahead and pause the video and when this is all ready to go I will be back with you okay and we are back and we have now successfully cloned into it so now what we're going to do is we're going to cd into void packages and if i do an ls you can see we have a markdown a couple markdown files um, we have a readme we have common we have etc source packages and xbps source so let's go ahead and clear the screen here and what we're going to do now is we're going to run this command here this dot slash xbps dash source and then binary dash bootstrap so let's just go ahead and do dot slash xbps dash src and then we are going to do binary dash bootstrap and we're going to hit enter and this is going to take a bit so I'm going to go ahead and pause the video and we will be back in a few moments all right Okay, and now we are done with that. So let's go ahead and clear the screen again. Sorry, I pressed super P in uh, for my OBS for pause and unpause. And apparently super P in XFCE is for the display stuff. So <laughs> sorry that that keeps popping up. But anyway, we now have uh, the XPPS-source binary bootstrap command run. So if we want to build a package by specifying the package target and package name, all we have to do is run that forward or that period slash XPPS-source. And then we run PKG and then the package name. So what we can do is if we go into our, let's uh, CD, actually let's do an LS. And we're going to cd into s actually let's do an ls just s r c p k g s and you can see that these are all the templates that are available to be installed and there is a ton of them so if we control l to clear the screen um, and we want to install a package um, we just run this xbps src package package name now uh, we can use the dash h to list all available targets and options um, we also have to uh, modify our etc.conf if we want to allow restricted packages um, but then once we install the package once we run this command right here um, what we got to do then is then we install the package with this xbps dash install repository hoster bind packages and whatever we just installed so or whatever we just built um, there is also a tool from uh, called Xtools that allows you to do this with a single command called XI package name. Um, you can use that if you would like. Um, I don't use it um, just because mainly I skipped over looking at that when I did this the first time and I just went and wrote a quick script myself, which is my VSP2 script, which if I do a uh, mod shift I, you can see it comes up right down here and I can install stuff from the void source packages that way on my own. Um, but um, aside from that um, you can use this tool right here um, I have never used it before so um, I'm sure it works great I'm not saying it doesn't but I don't really have much of an opinion on it because I haven't used it but let's go ahead and go on to the next step here so the next step is going to be um, to install a package so let's go ahead and um, let's see here what do we want to install from the source pa from the um, source packages let's run that ls command again and uh, let's go up let's just go up a bit here and find something that might be easy to um, install so something we can actually see too 
Mm, let's actually do this. Let's try to launch Alacrity. Um, Alacrity is not found. So let's do uh, ls source and then pipe that into grep and do Alacrity. And we do have Alacrity right there. So let's just go ahead and use Alacrity as our test um, and see how we can go and see how easy it is to install that. So let's do a dot slash XBPS dash SRC and we're gonna do PKG Alacrity. And we're gonna hit enter. And I am going to go ahead and let this run. I think this is probably gonna take a few minutes. So I'm gonna go ahead and pause the video again and uh, we will be back with you shortly. All right, so we'll see you in a few. Okay, and we are back again. Sorry for that pop up, but uh, we have now successfully built um, Alacrity using the xbps-source package package name. So this has been built and now all we have to do is we just need to run the install command here. So this xbps install dash dash repository. So let's go ahead and bring this up and we'll do um, sudo xbps-install and we're going to do dash dash repository and then host dir bin pkgs and then alacrity and hit enter now we enter our super secret password we hit enter and it's going to go ahead and install that do we want to install yes we do and we should be good to go so now if we clear the screen and we type alacrity and hit enter we now launch a terminal um, alacrity so nice and simple um, that's all you have to do so now you can build anything there is out of the void source packages um, usually I recommend before you um, do you want to update your um, local pa your local um, source packages um, file excuse me directory <laughs> and to make sure you have all the updated um, templates and everything before you install but it's just like that plain and simple um, it is super easy and it gets the job done um, now again you can use the xi command that is installed with x tools um, and um, it should be just fine in fact let's go ahead and see if x tools is installed um, Super secret password. Nope. So let's go ahead and install that real quick and let's actually give it a try and see what happens. So let's clear the screen and let's do X tools um, and let's say alacrity again and just see what happens. Um, X tools command not found. I wonder if we have to close out our terminal and relaunch it. Um, let's see here. X tools or X, XI, excuse me. Jeez, Jake. XI alacrity and then enter our password. And look at that, Alacrity already installed. Um, so that's actually pretty cool. Um, it's super simple. Um, I don't know why I didn't follow through and read that to begin with before writing my own script. Oh, I know why, because as I've said before, I like to kind of do my own thing and write my own stuff. But um, I'm not saying that's a bad tool. That's actually an awesome tool. That That's actually pretty cool the way that works. So I might have to look into using that. Um, but uh, I don't know. I like my <laughs> I like my script. Anyway, I'm rambling. So that's that. That's how you set up the void source packages on your system, um, and how you build a package and install it. So it's really quite simple. Um, it's nothing to be scared of or worried about because it actually goes extremely smooth. So um, if you want to read more about all the other stuff you can do with the void source packages, um, you can go in here and just kind of read through this GitHub page, and it will show you. Um, and talk to you about how to set things up um, and how to go through and do a little bit more than what I've um, set up. But um, you can see we've just got to CD into the voice source packages and run those commands and you're good to go. So we also have some options down here um, that if you want to read through and check out, I honestly haven't ever read through these because you know, why would I? I'm lazy. <laughs> And the void source packages work just fine for me right now. Um, I'm not saying these aren't useful, but maybe I should go through and check them out. Um, but there you go. That's installing the void source package repo on your system, on your void Linux setup. And um, yeah, that should get you started. So hopefully you guys uh, found this useful and you can actually use it and um, improve your Linux uh, slash void Linux user experience. So I hope you guys have a great rest of your day, a great rest of your week. Um, stay safe and you know what? God bless. And thanks again for the subscriptions. The 4,000 just blows me away. You guys are amazing. Love y'all. God bless.